Hi, Jeremy. Hi. I'm just gonna get my things set up here and then we'll get started with the fitting, okay? Okay. That's everything I'll need for today's fitting. We're just going to be getting our, our records up to date on the gloves and the hands, okay? Mm -hmm. So first thing, I want you to just lay out a hand here to your choice. I'm going to take a photo so we can record the measurements. Can you flip it over for me, please? I'll start with this side. And we'll start with the inner palm. Again, just taking some basic measurements. I'm going to draw just a little mark on your hand, okay? Just looking for that midline of the wrist. That's where I'm going to be doing all the measurements from, just right in the center there. Starting from there, I'm going to get to each finger, so just lay them as flat as is comfortable. Because so obviously you need the gloves to feel comfortable. Eighteen. Seventeen to try. Eighteen, one, five, and eighteen. And over here is just about fourteen. I'm going to use that same point, and I'm just going to measure to uh, the base of the finger here, okay, where the glove would be folding. So we have nine and four fifths. Eleven point two centimeters. And 11.7 12 right on the dot And 8 and a quarter I'm going to go around the wrist now. And I'm going to go around the palm without the thumb. And now with them in. I just want to see the extension here. So that's about 21 centimeters. And can you go as wide as you can? Thank you. 
That's 24. Just relax for me. I'm going to be trying a couple of new techniques um, today just to see what is working and what isn't. We're always trying to improve our measuring practices. So we're going to be cutting several strips based on the size of the circumference of the hand instead of just measuring because these can get a little bit more accurate than the tape measure which is kind of bulky, okay? Okay, we'll just start with the wrist, have a comparison to the tape measure. And does that feel about comfortable for you? We want to leave a little space for the glove itself. Uh, yeah. Okay. So just set this aside for one second. Just mark that as your right wrist, correct? Mm-hmm. Right. Then we're going to do around the hand again here. And can you make a fist for me and expand your hand fully like that? Okay, we just want to make sure there's enough room. as well, so I'm going to get the thumb here, and again, clench your fist, fist, good, expand as well, Get the pointer finger, please. At the thickest point. And then the thinnest point here. This is just a test, so we won't do all fingers. We're going to go ahead and continue uh, just a couple of circumferences with the measure, regular measuring tape, and we're going to want to see what has worked better for us, okay? Mm -hmm. So we'll get these final three fingers via the measuring tape, so thickest being 6.25 centimeters to 5 centimeters. I want to get a quick um, range of motion on this hand so we know how much fabric we need to allocate for. So flip your hand over for me, please, and just raise it off off the table. I'm going to put this here. And I'd like you to just put your hand up as far as it can go. Okay. 
That is 35 degrees comfortably, right? Yeah. Do the same thing, but just side to side. So you can leave it on the table and just move it that way. Okay. And that's about 30 degrees laterally. And the other way, please. And that's about 28. So while I have your hand flipped on this side, I'm going to do some measurements here. And we're just going to make sure that the fingers aren't particularly longer uh, tapered on the front and bottom. So at first I'm just going to look at them. And I would say they're pretty even, so our measurements on the back of the hand should be relatively sufficient. Let's just take some um, measurements up and down here to see the thickness that we would need. And just around this thumb area. Okay. I'm just going to move to the fingers. And I'm going to get right on the wrist as well. And that's about two and a half, two inches. Okay. I'm going to start out with taking that photo, same thing on the other side. For me, please. Very good. We'll start with that one. The inside, just like before. I'm going to make that same little mark right at the top of the hand. Again, just looking for that exact midpoint. Now just to the base of the finger, that's 10, and 11 through 75. Again, I'm just going to get a couple of those circumferences here. So starting with the wrist, and then the inner palm. And would you put your finger in like that? Very good. And then as far wide as your hand can go. That's about a six centimeter expansion. I 
Okay, let's try the same thing again with the string. And we'll just do the wrist and then we'll do the three fingers that we didn't do last time. Get a good comparison side to side. And then we did the um, pointer and the middle finger, but we did not do, or, I'm sorry, rather we did the thumb and the pointer finger, but we did not do these three fingers. So we'll do those ones. Just have that stay there for one second. I'm just gonna get the bottom here. Middle left. We'll do ring left here. one is the pinky and this one might be challenging based on the size so it could be that this technique is better for larger measurements but we'll see For symmetry, we will just measure the thumb and the pointer finger with the measuring tape here. So I'm just going to grab this here. Okay. So because we did such detailed work with the fingers, we're not going to worry about the um, ring measuring. However, if that comes back, um, the gloves come back on the first draft and they're not that comfortable in the fingers, we'll do some more detailed measuring. However, for now, I just want to go ahead and um, complete some of the measurements. So again, we're going to just get the width of the hand. So starting here and the other side. Good. And just getting a couple of the fingers here. And those all look pretty consistent with the circumference we took. Okay, there's nothing there that I've noted that would be different from the measurements we've already taken. Your hands are relatively symmetrical. But let's just uh, check the range of motion quickly. Same thing to just compare to the other side. Okay, so lifting your hand up, can you go up as far as you can go? And that's actually a little more range of motion, so I'll make a note of that. So that's about 50 degrees. And go side to side for me, please. And that's about the same on the other side. And that's a little more as well. So I'll just make a quick note of that in the pictures. 
might need a little bit more um, movement space. So now that we have those measurements, I want to just check for symmetry from side to side. So if you can just lay your hands out like that. And again, I'll just make a quick note here if anything is not as expected. Again, I'm just, just spread them apart a little bit for me. Perfect. And try to keep them relatively the same um, state of relaxation. So spread out just how you were before, just very natural and relaxed. However you're going to be when you're wearing the gloves. And I would say that is symmetrical. This is that. A little bit wider on this hand here between the ring and middle. Good. Good. Just checking the tapering of the wrists. And a little bit wider just on this right hand. Right okay. And could you put your hands over for me, please? Thank you. Checking wrist to wrist. A little bit smaller on that inner left wrist. Good. Okay. Just checking. And a little bit of less room in between those two center. Okay. Everything else looks fine. Just a little bit of style now. So I want to just look at some colors next to your hands and see which ones look best with your hands. I think white washes you out a little bit. Darker color black could look really nice. The yellow clashes with the skin tone too much. The green looks pretty nice. Bright mm. blue is okay, but the light blue is better. Pink is pretty complimentary, but I think it would stand out. But the beige blends too much. That clashes too much with the pink undertones. And the red's just a little intense. Just get one of my blues here. And this was just for color only, not this fabric style or texture. Alright, Jeremy, the last thing I have for you today is a bit of a molding, alright? So I've got some clay molds. And which is your dominant hand? Um, my, my right hand. Okay, so I'll go ahead and work with the right hand for this. So you can put your left hand back. So I'm going to make a molding of the top and the bottom of the hand. So 
just keep your hand down. I'm going to place this over the top and I'm going to just be molding it to fit your hand, okay? have to squeeze a little bit hard here to really truly get that impression, okay? I'm going to peel it slowly. What I'm looking for here is texture. Go ahead and let that dry so that it firms up. And retain the texture of the hand. Flip the hand over for me, please. We're going to do the same thing on the side. Again, looking to get the impressions and the texture of the skin. I want these to fit like a club, as they say. Just marking where the deviations of the fingers are. I'm moving it slowly. Very nice. Good impression there. And just get you some sanitizer for your hands. And go ahead and clean off any remaining clay there. All right, so that's everything I need from you today, Jeremy, to get the first draft going. They should be pretty close to perfection, just based on the amount of measurements we took today. Um, but we can do any necessary adjustments when the time comes, if needed, okay? All right, that sounds great. Well, thank you for coming in today. Thank you so much.